it's Heather. I'm here with our Jazz of Paint to Dance a Thon. Um, I just want to let you know we had a little bit of a technical delay, and so I'll be starting here shortly. I apologize. Um, I tried to post something just saying, don't worry, I'm going to be there. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe I'll show you some paintings or something right now. Yeah, my husband's dealing with some of the technical stuff currently, so that way we can get going on our Jazz of Dance a Paint a Thon. So, um, Remember, this is the work from last week, and uh, that's the one that we did uh, while doing the Jazz of Dance of paint a -thon. It's uh, It's been sitting, so it's, it's kind of getting dry to the touch a little bit. There we go. And it, it's nice because when you work in layers, you kind of want things to dry a little bit before you start the next layer on it. Um, I just want to show you, I kind of redecorated my room a little bit, so... Uh, this one, um, this one just sold yesterday, this one with the tree and the moon. Um, they're gonna be picking it up later. You know, things get a little complicated with the COVID-19. That happens. Um, we still have this beautiful piece right here, the, uh, ref refracted reflections. I have this little work. This is a good one. Um, this little piece right here is... A beautiful little piece of a prairie and actually I'm gonna go ahead and switch my view here so you can see things forwards ah there we go cute hi Julie nice to see you we also you know this one's still in progress and that one you probably saw last week <laughs> thanks Julie it is I, I, I was aiming for 80s on this one you probably saw this one last week when I was playing air painting you can see my son is digging through my random assortment of randomness over there. <laughs> hey! So, so like I said, right now, um, my husband is trying to get our music on. Um, and so I was just kind of giving a little tour. Hey, why don't I take y'all out in the hallway? You might actually get a kick out of this part of the tour before we actually get going. And I think my kids definitely want to dance. Oh, thanks, dear. He brought me a little wine. He knows I'm a little stressed out right now. I was like, ah, my Jazz of Painted Dance-a-thon. So come join me for just a hot minute. I'm gonna take you to where um, some of my paintings live. So as you may know, I live in, an, uh, hey, serious, you probably shouldn't be running in the hallway in just your underwear. Come on, get back in there. So I live at the Schmidt Artist Lofts. And the Schmidt Artist Loss is artist housing here in St. Paul, Minnesota. And so we have the opportunity, thankfully, here at the Schmidt to have a lovely place to show our work. So let me go ahead and show. You can see the long corridor here. So um, this is, you know, this is just our hallway exhibition, but we do have a couple of gallery spaces as well, which is really fun. So this is a live work housing. Usually the studios would be open, but because of the COVID-19, they've closed the studios, which is why we're doing my Jazz and Dance of paint thon in my home studio in our second bedroom. So I don't know if you saw the interview last Sunday, but um, they were saying, uh, one of the questions that came up was, how did, does COVID-19 affect your workflow and things like that? And uh, I was saying that, well, being a mom that uh, not only is educating her kids at home at the same time as doing her art stuff, it's very complicated. And um, one of the things that we had to do was actually make the kids' bedroom into my studio because we needed that to be a total space. So they're, uh, they're up in our room now and we got that studio as a studio. So, so yeah, so uh, that is the hallway of work right now and I'm gonna check in with my husband to see if he's got audio going. Thanks for bearing with me while we get this screen out. Hey Sirius, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. You'll you'll have to scooch please baby. Life of a mom, right? Oh and you can see I'm in my 80s finest today. I'm I'm in my thing and my hair up top and I got my big earrings and my Frida Kahlo necklace today so oh and I'm rocking the Minnesota floral t-shirt 
Oh yeah, you probably want to see that forwards. Hold on. Oh, thank you for the monies. My kid is giving me a penny. That must be my lucky penny for the evening. How's it going, dear? Did you get the technicalities fixed? Great. Is it set up over here? Awesome. Okay. All right, everyone. So I'm going to put you back into front mode. I'm going to click this music on. And we're going to get Jazzer dance a paint a thong. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Sirius. My, even my son is cheering for this one. Oh, you're cheering for money? I thought you were cheering for the dance of pants. <laughs> she has a pizza thought. Yay! All right, let's see here. Turn it up, turn it up. Me 
Mix it up. 
definitely want to make a, a slightly darker tone of that. I'm loving that. I'm going to bring it to the... Get more a little that cerulean in there. I'm loving that cerulean. It seems to be the right shade for the sky I'm doing.
jam. I'm starting to add a little bit of purples in there too because as I'm looking at my piece, I'm seeing some purple colors and I just want to bring those. Bring it, bring it. Yeah. 
love it. It's almost like those beautiful blooms, the cherry blossoms. Oh, man.
a lovely song. I just gotta say, I love that version of that song. <laughs>
Can you see them all popping out there? Incredible. And please, if anybody has any questions while I'm working, I'm more than happy to answer some questions when I step back and look back here on my Facebook live feed. By the way, thank you so much again for joining us. Um, this is Arta Heather Friedley's Facebook Live Jazz or Dance a Paint-a-thon. Um, this is the second time I've had it, so this is round two on this particular painting, which is rather large. As you can see, it's filling up my entire large easel. It's probably four feet by four feet. It's really big. Um, we last session did an underpainting. Now I'm starting to work on top of it. I am putting in those beautiful blues you see of the sky kind of poking through those trees. Uh, I've worked in a little bit of the understory that is uh, lit up by the sunshine in the background. And I'm going to start working back to front because as you know, with layering, um, things in the background are going to be behind other things. So um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. We did a little color mixing earlier. I want to say hi to Nicole. Thank you for watching. And Christine, thank you for being here. So um, without further ado, I'm going to start up the music again. And we're going to keep Jazz a Dance a painting. And I really hope that you're out there joining me. If you are painting tonight, raise your hand. Woo! Feel free to throw some hearts out there. You know, also, if you enjoy what you see tonight, please, please, please like it, share it with your friends, invite them next time, hoping to do another round next week because, you know what, I want to see this painting completion and I want you to join me with it. All right, without further ado, I'm going to start some music here. Yeah. 
you know, the only thing that's missing here is my wine that I left out in the hallway. I'm going to grab it really quick. You guys go ahead and grab your beverages.
That was a good mixing session, you guys. I don't know if you could feel it, but I could! Hey, Elise! It's really great to see you here. Thanks for joining us this evening, Elise. I hope you're painting along. I know you've got paint. Kelly, yes, thank you for coming. And Daniela! Holla to the Schmidt!
love that song. I love it.
Hey, Papa! Wow. Oh my gosh! This has been quite the evening. <laughs> I'm glad you're here with oh me, everyone.
I can't, oh my god. The one thing I love about high energy painting with the Jazz or Dance or Dance, Jazz or Pizza Dance upon is that you really get a lot of work done because you're really relying on your intuition. So, thank you so much again for joining me. I'm going to be continuing this painting next Friday at 7 p.m. right here. Don't miss it. Um, if you love what you see, support your local artists, of course. Um, I've got, you know, my work on my Facebook page. I've got an Etsy site. That's at Friendly Arts. My Instagram, like it. That's at Friendly Arts. And, uh, of course, if you want to support the arts long term, you can do a monthly contribution at my Patreon site, which is Art of Heaven Friendly. Friendly Arts. So, Patreon. Patreon. Oh, my son's correcting my pronunciation. He says Patreon. I say Patreon. That's how we roll around here. So, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Join me next week, Friday at 7. Bye.